Nicht mal, wenn ich jetzt Timer und Riff rap. No. <laughs> Shall we start talking about something? Yeah, but forget we'll forget we're on I the podcast. I suppose we're better. Right, uh, GTA Five. You know what? I fucking forgot what I was what I was going to say. Come on, I had loads to say. We'll do another one. We'll do a proper one. Make this a night, uh, um, one where you just to yeah. get some ideas. Oh, out. the torture scene. Oh, the torture. Because I've just done the torture scene. That's like. That's literally the last mission that like I've done that as soon, like before I left to come here. Mm. And well, what did you think of it? I'd heard about it, mm-hmm. like on other podcasts and stuff. I heard other people talking about it. Yeah, you know, saying how horrific it was oh. and and how much they hated it and how they wish that it wasn't in the game. Oh, that's ridiculous. But as we're both seen before, I think it's probably got more to do with our personalities. But I really didn't think it was that bad. I mean, even looking at it, sort of. You know, how is it that's the right word? Is it objectively? Like, I can't see why why it's been getting as much attention as it has. I've seen yeah. worse stuff. I mean, like, the first Grand Theft Auto, mm-hmm. the aim of it was to make a controversy. Yeah, it was, to generate publicity. And I think they've kind of stuck with that throughout the entire series. Mm. That's still what it's about. It's obviously still to make to make people uncomfortable and stuff like mm. that. So I don't see why people still feel uncomfortable with it if they know that that's going to be in the game. Probably because it's... I bet you the vast majority don't mind it. Yeah. I bet it's just a few yeah. plebs who... Like, I actually quite enjoyed it when I was... Yeah, I, I, when I was I'm, not, I'm not ashamed of it, that I got off on it. <coughs> well, I didn't get off on it. Well, I got off on it. I played it four times. Sexually? Well, yeah, I mean... You have a hard one while you were doing it. <laughs> that heart rate monitor was actually... I never used it. No, but that monitor was like, rate, like, like monitoring my dick, actually. Was it? Like how excited I was getting. Yeah. So that was your. <laughs> so that was just playing your pulse. Yes. And when it stopped, that was just me coming. Right. But you know. Yeah. I don't know. It's stupid. I enjoyed it. Do you have any favorite characters amongst the three? Yeah, of course, Trevor. Trevor. <laughs> you know what? They will become we're sounding more and more like psychos. Really. <laughs> I love torturing people. My favorite character is Trevor. You know what I think. Mm. I think what's the black guy called again? This is how little I've, I've played what's of him. The black guy called. <laughs> yes, I fucking forgot his name. Franklin. Franklin. I don't Jeez. like Franklin. Why do you not like Franklin? Because I think he's kind he's black. of. I think he's only being put there. Because he's black. To have a third character. Mm. Because I think there seems to be a, a development story between Trevor and Michael's past. I don't know if you've yeah. come up to that, but a little, yeah, they've got history, and it seems like they're the. But I think I think that Michael and Trevor. Reflect do two different player styles. Yeah. Like when you're playing as Michael, you're playing for the story. Mm-hmm. When Bruce you're playing Trevor, as Trevor, you're, you're playing crazy. just to fuck about. That's true. And then I think yeah. Franklin's just kind of like a, like a third wheel. Be, be careful what you're saying. We've got a lot of black listeners. <laughs> yeah, no. But do we, do we have any listeners? <laughs> yeah, but it kind of feels like they've just thrown Franklin in there just to have that third person. I don't know if I agree entirely. But That's I mean, only because I haven't played much as, of him, to be honest. I've mostly played played as Trevor. I play, I've only played as Trevor. I think most insane people do. I think because you're playing as Trevor as well, you feel more inclined just to go fucking mental. Yeah, I've heard this. People sort of develop the play style in, yeah. in sort of style of like what the characters are like. like yeah. They listen to rap when they play as Franklin and yeah. go crazy when they play as Trevor. And yeah. It's just quite quite weird I really like Michael's story as well yeah it's good <coughs> it reminds us of um, oh fuck what's the character called again in the League of Gentlemen you know when League when he's Gentlemen. when he's collecting all the toys oh and then he's oh. he's finally collected them all yeah but he's got nothing else to do <laughs> so he gets so, rid of them all so he gets rid of one so he, just yeah, so he can go through it. the adventure of that's getting it again he throws it in the water or whatever yeah it's the same with Michael. Like he's got all the money and everything that he wants, and the family and the wife, but he hasn't really got it. Yeah, but the the thing that he's enjoyed all along is just the chaos of everything. Yeah, and the bank robberies and shit like that. So. Living a life, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I like that as well. Have you played online yet? I you? have played online. Have you? No. Because oh. <laughs> I I want to progress in the story yeah. a little bit more before I play it. What's it like? Then give us your input. Well, you... Hold on, I'll move the laptop a little bit closer to you. <laughs> Because we might not have been picking up your voice, I don't know. Well, I um, I wanted to finish the story first, but I was sort of egged on by Joey and that to play and go on, so I thought, oh, why, why not? Joey is a person. Yeah, Joey's one of our insane uh, best mates, but he's, he's, he's crazy. 
I mean, I, I, he even admits he'll be in prison in the next couple of years. Yeah, we'll get him on. Yeah, we'll on get him. Podcast. Maybe as a fixture. We don't know. I think we're getting a third person to space things. Yeah, bit. yeah. He would certainly add a uh, flavour. Anyway, um, <coughs> yeah, it's good. Um, I've only played a little bit really, but it's essentially GTA Four online with so much more. It's like a living. It's just GTA Five, but who do you play as? You play as you make your own character. Oh right, okay. And it's sort of a um, dynamic change in world, as they put it. Like you do jobs, you can have races on the on the go. You can yeah. do jobs with people. golf tournaments and shit. All like that, that, all that sort of stuff. It's just so seamless and flowing. It's not. It's like it feels very like realistic, where you switch from one thing to another. It feels like it's. Wait, so is it like filled with people, or yeah, do you make like a friends list or something no, and then filled, play with a certain amount of it's people? It's filled with. Um, 15 other players there's 16 in right. total like GTA 4 just felt like you were whacked into a city and you'd play a death match or you'd, yeah. you'd reload it and then you'd play um, I don't know a race or whatever with this it's like it's sort of a continuous sort of experience it, like it, even though the players change it feels like the city's alive all yeah. the time yeah. like you'll everything's accessible and you'll just do things on the fly and make go from a race to do a job with somebody else yeah and it's also it's like it's so dynamic and immersive. It's brilliant. I love it. But oh, yeah, and you can also put bounties on people's heads and kill them. Really, the thing me and Joe used to do on GTA Four is um, we used to pretend we were pigs. Um, that was me. That was me. Yeah, Joey, well, it, piggy. Was, it was because of you. It's because of Mark. Yeah, that's how long <coughs> ago it was. Because of you. Because of the pig thing. You still do that. We still do. What, <laughs> what we do God. is. On GTA 4, what um, differentiates between different players is colours. So, like, you might log on and you might have you might be yellow, you might be blue. Like, you can see the colour on the map. Yeah. Player 5 is green. And we always used to go after the pink player. Because <laughs> he was the piggy. We always used to, yeah, we used to, yeah. like... And what we used to do was sort of used to um, rail up everyone on the game and, like, get yeah. them into it. And we used to, yeah. like, well, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. Our mission is to kill pink. We'll have to kill pink. Yeah. Everyone got off the pink, and honestly, you'd be surprised <laughs> by the amount of times we went on, and gradually, eventually, everyone was going after pink, yeah. and pink went crazy. He was telling everyone to fuck off. And please get also, it. was a random person. Yeah, you it wasn't... was a random person. Oh, yeah, right. pink. And they were, like the whole map was chasing after them, trying to slaughter them like pigs. Yeah, and I used to say like. You know, you know better than the bacon in our sandwiches. You're just a filthy fucking pig. <laughs> you need to fuck off. And it was so hilarious. And sadly, GTA Five doesn't have that. But you could put oh, bounties well. on people's heads. Yeah. So I was thinking of like you could put a specific amount of money, like the pig amount, like five hundred yeah. pound for the squealing pig. Yeah. Kill him and deliver deliver his bacon to me. Yeah. I Mods know. for the PC. There you go. Yeah. If it comes out. How I mean, would a pig skin be? So you actually, <laughs> so one player actually played played as a pig. You know what? You say that you can actually wear a pig mask. Can I'm you? Not even joking. It's it's like. They listen to us. It's like Rockstar listened. They've put a pig mask in. Fucking hell. I was running around for hours just getting stabbed by Joey in a pig <laughs> mask. He stole about $3,000 uh, off me. So there you go, everyone. There's a new game for you all to play. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. Try it. Bring your friends. It's great. If it's you have any hilarious thing. If you have any thoughts about anything that was said about GTA, mm. put them in the fucking comments. <laughs> Please. Or whatever, if anyone listens. <laughs> Please listen. Please, people listen to this. It'll be like, <coughs> this will be like the archive retro footage when we've made a big break. And people will come back to this and listen to it. And, you know, know, like sort of the um, Ricky Gervais podcasts. Anything else you want to talk about? Oh, The Last of Us. You haven't the, spoke about The Last of Us. You recently finished because I've that. just fucking finished you it. Recently finished that. Yeah. I'm and sorry it took us so long, but and you strangely thought Joel wasn't a cunt for doing what he did, which I was surprised me. No. What, you thought no, he was a cunt? No, I don't think he was. So you think it's all right to sacrifice the whole of the human race? I don't know. For one girl, I mean... For one stupid Oh, yeah, spoilers, bitch. by the way. Oh, God, yeah, spoilers. <laughs> we'll spl- splice but spoilers But then again, no one's in. listening, so it doesn't really fucking matter. But no, yeah. we'll put spoilers in. We'll, put, we'll edit it and put spoilers. Yeah. But, the, yeah. The kind, of, the kind of world that it was. Mm. Dystopia, basically. Do you think a cure would have done anything? Yes. Would I think it could have grown exponentially and helped loads and would it though? It would have been well because it seemed like it just seemed like everyone had split up into the wrong wh- factions wh- and 
what's wait why that's that's stupid why so your argument is don't do it because you know it won't do anything in that world i think there's if, nothing to lose from doing it what's to lose from doing it well nothing's to lose from doing it exactly but i just think that then the viruses or the fungus fungus fungi. the fungus isn't the problem but the people would still be the problem i suppose because it's so fucked up yeah now anyway because it doesn't like, well, You've lost all your politics and your society. And yeah, well, you don't know what's happening in the outside world because you're just playing as Joel. Mm. But it just seems like there's no control anymore. Every, it's, it's just like every man for himself. I suppose. I mean, it's just too far. It's yeah, often, it's, yeah. I suppose, but it just seems better off doing it anyway. <coughs> I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But yeah, if so I... Basically, what you've said is the whole of The Walking Dead is pointless. You don't watch The Walking Dead, do you? I've saw the first two seasons. Yeah. What they're tra- in the first two seasons, all they're trying to do is survive, aren't they? There's, I suppose. There's no cure. True. But in the first season, but, they're looking for a cure, aren't they? Are, are they, they looking for a cure? Is that another third? No, the first season when they go to that bloke in the lab, trying to get a, um, a vaccine or whatever for it. Do you not remember? No. And they blow the lab Oh, up. I remember the lab blowing up. Was that at the end of the second season? No, it was the second season was Herschel's Farm. Was it? I'm yeah, confused. third season. Was, uh, I don't know. Was I've, the I, haven't, I haven't watched it. In, Have you not? No, I've watched it. In, I don't know how long. Years? Has it been years? Probably. It hasn't been years. Well, it might have been. Yeah, it might have been. I still haven't seen the third season. I like The Walking Dead, but that's, you know, that's not so apparently bad. went downhill. That's what I heard. It's, but I don't. Know. It's not as good as other shows, to name a few, like Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones. But I still haven't. It's, it's still haven't watched Game of Thrones. You need to watch that. You enjoy that. <sighs> anything else other games shall we game? wrap it up have we mentioned anything about Hotline Miami is it, no. it is called Hotline Miami isn't it yeah Hotline is Miami fantastic Sup- game I know it's very surprising I don't know what you would call it <coughs> it's not really 8 bit it's sort of 16 would you have ever played it if I didn't mention it no I would not never you see I would never have played it if I didn't hear it in a podcast so the yellow was recycle of podcasts which just goes to show you should try games that you don't think you should necessarily that you should try games that you don't think you would like yeah yeah because I didn't I mean I like top down games like that but I mm. had no idea what, you know what it would be like it just seems so I think it just and different yeah I think it does a really good job of like immersing you into the game I just from it, the soundtrack yeah I read a good review it was like if any one thing was taken from it it wouldn't work but everything about it that like the music, the, mm-hmm. the gameplay, the violence even. All of it comes together to make a really good game. So if you think about it, the gameplay is just repetitive. It is, it's just all the same thing. I, I know but it, that one thing is fun. It's so fun. And I like the way that you have... I've said this... Well, I've thought this time and time again. I like variety in games. I like mm-hmm. a game where when you kill someone, they don't just do the same quick time animation they'll die dynamic, yeah. dynamically yeah. they'll fall on the ground they'll do it a different way I like games where ever find with games you'll do a game like the whole of the game feels like the same thing more or less over and over Yeah, but you're just sort of changing it up a little bit but the, yeah. but the basic thing is the same I like things that are completely different I want every level to be different mm. I'm going off track here a bit because I know Hotline, Hotline Miami is, is the same but like for each level essentially yeah. but I just mean like like the way you kill someone every animation is different yeah. I think that really adds to it imagine if it was just the same animation for every single one yeah I think it's like the fluidity is that a word yeah the, the fluid so like, quick yeah you can just like blast through it reminds it me of really um, Meat Boy like as soon as you die yeah, you have another go yeah. you keep going because it's so hard <coughs> yeah. you're going to die again and again and again yeah. so it has like, imagine if it was like a loading sequence every other minute yeah, yeah. but it's just bam it's, it's instant and it's fantastic yeah. and best play with headphones mm. best play with actually that's another play. thing I liked about GTA mm. got to bring up that subject again um, the soundtrack no that which is great that, that when you die mm-hmm. you kind of you start kind of almost from the point when you died what do you mean like in the previous one you like when you died you started from the very beginning of the mission yes what's well, a checkpoint essentially yeah yeah like if you yeah, if you're true. really far away somewhere like on one side of the city you would have to go all the way across the city again it's ridiculous do the same thing it's like you die because of this difficult point halfway through the mission yeah but because of that, you're penalised and you have yeah. to drive fucking Roman back to the fucking yeah. factory or whatever. Yeah. It's ridiculous. That's another thing that I like about it. 
Yeah, that that's that's huge. Like that's massive. Yeah. Isn't it? Also, I'm back on the fucking GTA now. But um, <laughs> that's a brilliant game. I was I was on my way to to a waypoint. Mm. I can't remember what the waypoint was. It was I, I think it was for one of them freaks and friends missions. Yeah, strangers and freaks one. Yeah. That's that's the one. And um, for something that should have taken us two minutes to get there. I got there like 45 minutes later. Mm, because, I've done that countless times. Yeah, because I just got so distracted with just everything. Yeah. Like I was driving down like a, a main road mm-hmm. and I saw like a little dirt road mm. slip off type thing. So I went up there, ended up in the hills. I ran over a cougar. <laughs> Which is great. <laughs> yeah, then I like flipped off the mountain. Like you, you told me, didn't you? You think mountain driving in the mountains is one of the best things. It's that's great. my favourite bit. Getting I love, I, I the love that bit. It's meant, yeah. And then, like, when the car flipped, it just completely fucked, like, the front the front wheels just wouldn't turn anymore. Mm. So I got out, I got out, I just ran about, and then I found, like, an abandoned water factory or something. Mm. Went inside it. You could, like, Went inside cl- it? Yeah, yeah, you could go inside it. Wow. Like, climbed up some ladders, and there was, like, a little platform. Mm. And you could parachute off the platform and, like, into a canyon. Really? Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Because there's not that many interiors, I didn't know about. No, it's, um... I'm sure you've seen it before because I've seen it when I was playing your game. You know where those water pipes are? There's like oh, really yes, big I water remember, pipes. Yes, the water pipes that. lead to that factory. Oh, right. That's cool. But yeah, I just I, I think it's so easy to get lost. And... Oh, it is, definitely. I've, well, I, I don't know if I told you this, but I've played it. I'm not even exaggerated. I've played it 24 hours straight. <laughs> no, seriously. I've played, sick. I've played it 24 hours straight. I'm sure a lot of people have, though. But I felt sick after. I thought, yeah. why have I done this? Yeah. I mean, it's incredible, but my God, 24 hours straight. Yeah. Just think about that for a second. Yeah, uh, it's that kind of game where it's so easy to do it, I think. Oh, that's crazy, man. <coughs> <coughs> mm. Oh, I've got a terrible cough, sorry. And I've got a terrible erection. Oh. Oh, God. Is that what that is? Great. Oh, daddy. <laughs> also, how many fucking games is Nolan North the voice in? Who? You know Nolan, Nolan North, the bloke who plays... Drake, you'll probably know him as Drake. in Uncharted. Oh, very is he, is he in... Um, He's in so many fucking is he things. Is he as well? I'm not... I wouldn't be fucking surprised. I'll have a look. He I was know. in The Last of Us. That, that's that's what... Was he? Yeah. I know Stephen Ogg plays Trevor. Stephen do, you, do you know the characters in GTA look like they do in real life? Really? Type so there's Stephen Ogg. So there's real Trevor? Type it in. Type oh, that's in fucking Ogg. sick. The guy who does the voice for Trevor yeah. is Trevor. Seen with a V or a PH. I'm V, I think... Stephen what? O G G Og. Oh, God, that's a sick know. name as well. Sounds like caveman. Oh, look. <laughs> sick. Fuck. And I'll go on images. It's it's hilarious, honestly. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> look great, at that. It? It's great, isn't it? Shit. I know. Just imagine his voice sounds that like is there, look. absolutely disgusting. His voice sounds exactly the same. Anyone who listens to this and doesn't know it, mm. type in Stephen Og into Google and have a look, and it's. It's basically, it he really is, is Trevor. Trevor. He, he is Trevor. Trevor. I wonder disgusting. what his personality is like. I'm hoping crazy. Yeah. I'm hoping Trevor. And there, and there's Michael as well, Ned Luke. Have a look on, oh look on IMDB, see what, he, see what else he's done. Isn't that amazing though? What was I about to type in before? Oh God, yeah. Oh shit. Forgotten this again. is the fucking second time this has happened. Viewers, I'm worried oh, that Mark's no, there. No, no, no. I might be getting Alzheimer's. You might be getting Alzheimer's. I might be getting... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I think I'm getting Alzheimer's. <laughs> I think you're getting Alzheimer's. What? I think I'm getting Alzheimer's. It's oh, just God. A sick... What, what? Oh, is this is... Um, what's my call them? Nolan North. See how many... Games he's done. Just because of his voice? Yeah. <coughs> Batman, Batman, Lego Batman, or Lego Superheroes. Ultimate Spider Man, T Face here. Call of Duty. Saints Row? Yeah, yeah, he was, in, he was like an optional voice in Saints Row. What? As if they put him in just to take the piss <laughs> of, of the fact that he's, he's been, been in so, so many, many things, yeah. Right, yeah, The Last of Us, David. Who's David in the Last Isn't of Us? Isn't David, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong, is he not the main, well, the villain that you encounter when you start playing? Spoilers, when you start playing as um, Ellie in the in the snow, 
You know the crazy oh, yeah. the guy who tries to fucking go. Oh, that scene was so fucking good. That is David, isn't it? That is I David. It is. Know. It is. Sly Cooper thieves in time. I love Sly. You ruined that you game for me. Me? Yeah. Oh. I, was, I was on Sly three, and I was on one of the last levels, and you oh, were yeah. killing me in it. Yeah. You turned off Mario when I finished oh, it. Oh well, fucking. <laughs> So Scooby even do. we are we portal too. That's insane. Mafia. How to train your dragon. Just imagine having this Jesus. life. Just going from studio to studio. Dragon Age, Assassin's Creed, Ratchet and Clank. A cracking time. I've never heard of that. Red Fraction. You know, I still call it Red Fraction to this day. I thought. I thought Uncharted would have been like. Fable His debut two. or something. Fable two. Is he British or is he American? Persia. American, I think. Oh, he was in Fable two and he's American. Actually, I don't know. I'm just unstable. Fables three. Pigs and a baby. What? What? <laughs> three pigs <laughs> and a baby. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, it's not a game. Oh. Mason pig, Sandy pig, Richard pig. <laughs> Sorry, everyone, but I'm going to play this trailer. Oh, for God's sake. Just to see what Unstable Fables Three Pigs and a Baby is. It's a good name, though. Once upon a time, Shit there was a baby. sweet fable. The listeners are going to hear three this. Pigs. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. That was then. He wants to come this inside. is now. <laughs> Snap, bro. From Unstable Fables. It's the irreverent story. It's a baby. Okay. This so looks like a like joke baby. that, like, South Park would do or something. Rob Schneider is yeah. a carry. Uh, yeah. 21 people like this, apparently. Huh. There's 21 of them people are listening to this. <sighs> yeah, and all the North's been in a fuckload of things. What kind of name yeah. is Nolan North as well? It's a good name. Nolan North. Nolan North. Parents had problems. And on that note, shall we, shall we wrap this up? I think it's been quite good, this one, actually. It has, with Spork. With Spork, consistently. Spork, consistently, yeah. Good timing as well. I know. I think there's a few bits to cut out. Thanks, everyone. But, uh, Worrying, though. The wave. No. The waveform. It's only look really small. So It was before when we checked. It was fine. Yeah. That'd be fine. But, oh, yeah. well. There you go, everyone. This has been a mm -hmm. recording. Hopefully a lot more people will listen to this in the future. Yeah. By the way, don't expect anything more than this because pretty much we're just going to sit here and talk. Oh, bloody hell. It's yes. not going to be hell, yeah. fantastic. We're just doing it because we want to do it. But you know what? Eventually, <coughs> that reminds me. You reminded me we still need to play Eternal Darkness, is it? Oh, shit, yeah. I forgot we about that. We still need to play that. You know what? I might just order it now. If anyone has Eternal Darkness, can we have it? <laughs> can you send it to us? Leave a comment yeah, in this video. Yeah, leave a comment and send it. And give fantastic. it to us. We'll, we'll do a Let's Play of it. We'll say your name in the next video. How about that? <laughs> 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 we'll say your name for yourself and probably us to hear because we'll be the only three people who listen to it so there so you go so if you want your name heard by, by yourself, yourself and us we'll say your name yeah we'll say it my god we will say it but, we could uh, get Joy to say your name <laughs> that'll cost extra yeah but uh, I think we should do a let's play but <laughs> Oh, look at the ugh. our voices while the game is on screen. No box of us in the corner. Yeah. Just our voices. How fun yeah. would that be? They don't want to see our face. Yeah. We're ugly as fuck anyway, aren't we? No. Definitely Mark. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's got this tremendous disorder. He's got like a weird triangle shaped head. It's like it, it comes off into an extra bit. <laughs> his head forks. Like his head's like a fork. It's really weird. <laughs> And I've got no head. So, um... Jack's actually just my hand. I do the voice for both of us. <laughs> That's quite foul. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we should do that. That'll be fun. Yeah? Shall we stop now? I think we should stop. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Dicks. Bastards. <laughs>